Well, hi, I'm here at one of Enver's recycling centres. We're going to come and find out what happens to HVAC equipment at end of life, how it's broken apart, how the materials are recovered and recycled. Hi, I'm Carl Sylvester, Operations Director for Enver. We're one of the leading recycling resource recovery companies across the UK and Ireland. With our efficient collection service and modern facilities, we can recycle all waste electronic equipment. Hi Carl, really good to meet you. Hi Chris, welcome to Ember. Thanks very much, really looking forward to you guys showing us around today to see what you do here. Yeah of course, no problem. Let's go have a look at the recycling. So Carl, here we are inside the recycling facility. I can see there's a, a unit here, it looks like it's on its way through the process. Can you explain what's happening? Yeah, so Chris, this one came in on Monday. Um, at the moment, obviously we unload the, uh, the calling unit. We then manually dismantle the outer surround before we can then go on to degas the unit and separate all of the different components. Okay, so this is really where it starts then? That's correct, yeah. Right, so Carl, so now you've removed the panels from that unit in the first stage, we're on to this next stage here. Uh, so what's happening here? This is, comes down to the next step. So at this current position, we're removing the, uh, the falling fan. Once that's removed, again, it gives us more access as we move down the further steps of processing. Right, so the whole fan assembly, the fan blade, the fan motor, the whole mountain, that all comes out That's now. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Pretty simple, just lifts off. And then from there, we're taking the cowling off. That retrieves the fan motor itself. Right, so this is the most valuable part that we're trying to recover from this. This is one of the most valuable parts, One of the yeah. most valuable parts, right, okay. So now we've got full access to the unit, the fan meter and the fan blade have been removed. So we've got a lot more space to work with. That's correct, yeah. So as we look at the next stage, where we're pulling this electrical components and the entire electrical box out of this machine, can you show us how that comes yeah, out? Yeah, that's right, Chris. So we move down onto this process, cut the cables and remove four bolts. This allows us to retrieve it as a whole. Right, okay. Then okay. we can gain access to degas the the compressor itself. So now you've got access to the refrigeration circuit once these electrics are out of the way. That's correct, yeah. And there's obviously a lot of material in here that will go through a separate process. That's right, yeah. So we retrieve all the cable, we remove the circuit boards, the aluminium then can go through the plant. So really, when we manufacture the unit, the way that we put it together, it really does affect the way that you can then take it apart to recover the materials That's from right, it. That's yeah. It's very time consuming to actually get to the different components that we need. Right. And the stage that obviously we need to do for recycling is dismantled to start with so we can actually degas the circuit. We don't want to put a whole unit through that's already gassed. Yeah, okay. So the way that in our factory, when we put this whole electrical assembly in as one component, one part of the manufacturing process, that actually helps you quite a lot for you to be able to remove it in one step that's as well. That's correct, yeah. So there's a lot of work that we can do in the manufacturing process to try and help with the, the disassembly process, really. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay. So we work with other manufacturers as well, where some units come in glued. Right, okay. So something as simple as gluing components together, as opposed to a mechanical connection between that's right, them, yeah. really impacts your ability ability to recover those Out materials. To separate the components. Right, yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. We've removed the panels, we've removed the fan motor, but right now there's still refrigerant in this circuit. So before you can go around removing the heat exchanger and the other components, how do you go about reclaiming the refrigerant from the system? Yeah, so we do put it through our degassing system. So it's done by vacuum. Right. 100% vacuum, then that allows us to drill into the compressor and remove the gases and then the residual oil. Right, and then once you've got a circuit that's got no refrigerant left in it, no oil left in it whatsoever, then you can go about removing the heat exchanger. That's right, and we remove the heat exchanger at this point, which comes over to this side. Next step is to remove the copper and the brass. Then we remove the compressor itself. I'm doing the four bolts. This goes off then to further separation. So Carl, so you must obviously get lots of different units that come through this uh, recycling line. Those units have got lots of different refrigerants in them. You've explained the process about how you dismantle the product and how you remove and reclaim the refrigerant and the oil from the circuit. That's correct. What exactly happens to that refrigerant once you've removed it? So that refrigerant is captured into small vessels. We then have the capacity on site with our own gas refrigerant incinerator. So we can burn all the gases at 1100 degrees. That's the really important part of that process, 
is that that refrigerant is captured from the system and then incinerated to make sure that it, the global warming impact of that refrigerant is neutralized. That's right, yeah. Right, okay, great, thanks. <laughs> so now you're left with these constituent parts of a, of a HVAC system. That manual process now ends, I assume? And That's what, correct. we go into an automated process now? So everything else now, all the components have been separated, go through a mechanical process. We put them through our fridge plant. Right, okay, so all of these components will all go through together. Right. And it downsizes them, so it separates the aluminium, the copper, the steel, the plastic. Right, okay, so, so this machinery behind us is able to separate copper, aluminium, steel, brass, and that separates and all those plastic, parts. that's correct, yeah. Right, and then you just end up with those raw materials that you've been able to recover at the end of that process. That's right, yeah. As they go through and we water the plant, we can show you all the different commodities. So, Carl, thank you so much indeed for showing me around the plant today. It's really, really interesting to see the process. And ultimately, at the end of all of this work that you guys and your team do, we end up with the raw materials or some of the raw materials that have actually come out of this recycling process. Yeah, that's right. So what we've got here, copper, aluminium, brass, some steel. Yeah. So you're trying to get good purity of material that that's you can right. then resell and yeah. then can go back into another manufacturing process. 100% and we have to desize it. So obviously from the large unit coming in to start, manual dismantling, mechanical process, and this is the size of components. Well, I say, I can't thank you enough for showing me around today. It's been really, really interesting to understand what welcome. goes on. And uh, hopefully we can um, send you some more equipment for you to recycle. 100%. Thank you.